What's up? We are on day two of our cardboard mask art project. We're trying to celebrate bringing it home and using stuff we have lying around. Hopefully this week you collected some cardboard and you came to class with some glue or tape and some good scissors. Last art class, we talked about some masks from around the world. We thought about what was important to us and we made some sketches together. You can use your sketch or come up with something new. In this video, I'm gonna walk through the steps and show you some cool building techniques for cardboard. The first thing you need to make is a base for your mask. Try a simple shape like a triangle, square, or circle. If you only have small scissors, use paperboard, the thin cardboard. Otherwise, use the thick stuff. Next, add smaller shapes, ears, horns, things like that. Cut some different shapes, start layering them, and don't glue anything right away. Play with it a little bit, see what looks good. If you want two shapes to match, try taking one, putting it on another piece of cardboard and tracing it. Then you'll get two shapes that are the same. Once you like your layout, try adding some liquid glue. Use a lot. If you don't have liquid glue at home, you could try a glue stick or some tape. This mask I'm working on has only black tape, no glue. If the edges don't stay, try putting something heavy on top, like a big book, to weigh it down. Here are a couple really cool examples. Now, if you're using thick cardboard, don't try to cut out the eyes. You could actually really hurt yourself by stabbing through the cardboard with your scissors. Instead, ask an adult, bring it to school and I'll help, or don't cut out the eyes at all. Now, let's look at some 3D building techniques. Now, if you want a piece of the mask that sticks out, you could glue it down like this or make a toilet paper roll stick by cutting a flange. Here's how you do it. Cut around the bottom of a toilet paper roll. Try to make these cuts about the same size, then bend them. It's gonna look a little like an octopus. Put glue on every part of your flange. Hold it down, but it probably won't stay. So put something heavy on top for a couple minutes to hold it down. More techniques. If you want to make a piece of cardboard 3D, make a little bend on one side and a bend on the other. These are called tabs. Then you bend the middle, put some glue on the edges, and it pops right out. You can also make a curve by going down the middle of the cardboard and bending each little bit. This works with regular thinner cardboard too. Just kind of curve it until it's the shape you want, fold some tabs, and put a little glue on the edges. Put the 3D shape where you want it to go and hold the edges for a count of 10. If you don't count until 10, it might pop off and not stick. Here's an example of a curve in action. You can try scoring cardboard too. That's where you open up your scissors and use them like a knife. Cut one side of the cardboard to make it bend. Make sure your hands are out of the way of your scissor. Next, folding tabs. Let's say I wanna add a 3D piece of cardboard to my mask, but it won't stand up by itself. You're gonna cut some long, thin pieces of cardboard, bend them, and put glue on both sides. Gah. I had some glue issues. All right, stick it down on the paper. Make sure it's nice and gluey, and hold it and count to 10. You wanna tab on both sides of your cardboard. That will make it stay. See, stick straight up nice and strong. For example, I use tabs to make a beak for this bird. I put some on the top, some on the bottom, held it for a long time, and now you've got this wacky mouth that opens and closes. Zigzag. A 3D zigzag could be really cool for teeth or just for decoration. You fold it back and forth. You put some glue, a lot of glue, on every part of it and then put it down where you want it to be. Other kinds of decoration are fringe and stacking. Stacking is just where you take lots of pieces of cardboard. If you can, try to make them different kinds or different colors, stack them on top of each other and then you've got a creation that pops out. The last technique I wanna show you just cause it's awesome is something called a slot. Here's what you do. Cut some little squares of thick or thin cardboard. Then you cut a little slot on both sides. Push them together and it will stick. No tape, no glue necessary. On thin cardboard, you just cut a little line. On thicker cardboard, you have to cut out the middle. 
like this. That's what I did here. Cut a slit on the top of the mask, cut a slit on my little horn, and push them together. Nice and strong, no glue needed. One, find cardboard. A cereal box is great. If you are still eating the cereal, grab it, take the bag out, put the bag back, and run away with your box. Tell them your teacher made you do it. Then cut a shape for the base. Next, cut shapes for ears. Cut more shapes. Try to use a 3D technique if you can, like folding tabs, stacking, making a curve, a flange, etc. 